Stephen Northrup. He served as the Republican Health Policy Director for the Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor and Pensions. That is the very same committee that Fauci, along with other top officials, testified in front of today. Uh, really great to have you with us. You know, we heard grim testimony from these officials, but the president wants to say that things are looking up. How do you square that circle? Well, I think the hearing today, Kelmany, showed there's impatience on one side of the political aisle and frustration on the other. The Republicans, including the president, are growing impatient with the stay at home and shelter in place orders. And a lot of Republicans, and you heard this at the hearing today, believe that scientists like Dr. Fauci are being overly cautious. If Democrats, for their part, are frustrated by what they see as mixed messages coming from the Trump administration. The president is focused on the economy and reopening America as soon as possible for business, but his science advisors, as Dr. Fauci and others uh, testified today, have warned that reopening the country too soon could fuel a bigger wave of infections in the coming months. So the president uh, you know, has some difficult decisions to make in working with the governors over the next uh, uh, several months as we go forward. Stephen, what were senators hoping to hear from Fauci today? Because you've served on this exact committee before. We know what the purpose of the committee is, but what did senators want to hear from the country's top infectious disease expert? I think they were hoping to hear a plan forward. You know, how, how are we going to get out of this? You heard senators asking specifically about colleges and universities and schools. Can we go back? Can we expect to go back and have our kids go back to school uh, in September? And Dr. Fauci was very honest, and he, he said, you know, at this point, um, he doesn't know. We still have a few months to go before we get there. Um, th th we're working hard on vaccines, uh, working hard on therapeutics, and that could be something that could play into whether schools are able to reopen in the fall uh, or not. But I think they were looking for, uh, for some guidance that Dr. Fauci admitted he, he just doesn't have all of the answers. They're looking for guidance from scientists and public health officials, but ultimately it's going to be up to our elected officials to, to weigh the risks of reopening before we have a vaccine and to decide how to reopen in a way that balances the health of the economy and, and the health of our citizens. I think they were hoping for some very clear answers today, but there's very little that's been uh, clear uh, to date on the coronavirus and how this uh, pandemic is going to proceed. And Dr. Fauci just wasn't in the, in the place to make any promises as to what we're going to be facing in September and October and as this year continues. Stephen, do you think that Fauci's testimony will have any influence over the federal or the state response, given the fact that you have the White House confronting its own coronavirus outbreak? Uh, there were senators who asked that very question today. You know, how does the White House square um, its advice to its own staff, which until, as, you, as one of your reporters mentioned, just in recently over the last couple of days, White House officials and staff have been wearing masks. Uh, there were senators who asked um, that very question. You know, in terms of uh, Dr. Fauci's testimony and how it will impact governors, you know, that's a big part of um, the challenge is that we have COVID-19, which is a national problem, but we have a federal system of government here in the United States where you have the federal government, our national government, but you also have state and local governments. And when it comes to decisions around reopening businesses, determining which businesses are essential, non-essential, you know, how we move forward, uh, the federal government has to, uh, a certain extent, defer to the states, provide guidance, but yet defer to state and local governments because while this is a national crisis and a national problem, uh, COVID-19 is affecting different areas of the country very differently. And again, I think what the governors are looking for from Dr. Fauci is some clear guidance, but it's difficult to, to ask um, Dr. Fauci to make decisions about what to do in state X or county Y. What he's trying to do is provide guidance generally that governors, uh, that state and local governments can look to uh, as they decide whether to reopen or not. But again, it's not, it can't be Dr. Fauci's decision as a federal official. Ultimately, it has to be the decisions made by uh, the governors and by uh, local governments as well um, in this, in our federal system. Emphasis on the guidance there. Stephen Northrup, really appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that.